In September of, 19, of 1987, I moved from the poorest county in America, the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, to the richest area in the country, the Navajo Indian Reservation. There is no difference. I paraphrase the former Secretary of the Department of the Interior, James Watt. If you want to see an example of failed socialism, go to an Indian reservation. The poorest and richest reservations in our nation suffer from identical problems. Mismanagement, a bloated patronage system, no checks and balances, and tribal government's waiver of sovereignty in order to initiate debt. This is not anything new. This is an everyday occurrence in all tribal governments. Problem is leadership. In this case, it is the lack of leadership. Ironically, everyone, including you senators, referred to the allegedly elected tribal officials as leaders. Leaders are supposed to work for a better quality of life for their constituents. It is an insult to my heritage, my ancestors, and my dignity as an Oglala Lakota to have the term used loosely. Many of the tribal officials are honest and sincere men and women who have good hearts. Nevertheless, a vast majority of the tribal officials parasite on the incestuous world of tribal politics. Not as our forefathers, who were the best providers, protectors, defenders, advocators, and friends. The game of who is the most important rules. It's embarrassing. <laughs>